Uh, oh, you're not Emma, clearly. <clears throat> hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Was that a prologue again? I, I would say so, yeah. So now we're into the real meters, right? Oh my god, it is Brenda's song and a handsome guy in a green shirt. Hi, Jordy. It is. I, I would say he's handsome, but I would also say he's probably a meathead. Did he blank us, by the way? <laughs> Maybe you're the meathead? Let's talk again. <clears throat> Hello? Whatever, man. Me too. Okay. I thought you were Team Green Jumper, dude. I don't know any doing? of their names. Dylan. I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, we're Jacob. Insist. Dylan doesn't want to know us. So where are we meant to go now? <laughs> Out the front door, I suppose. Although, I don't know much about cars, like what if- Maybe breaking the fuel line would be better? Because... What if someone tries to drive the car? What's this? Boom! Oh! There it is! Freak. Oh! Oh! Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> yes. You know, you should really just save it for emergencies <laughs> only. Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? <laughs> oh, These guys are assholes. Maybe they do deserve it. A thousand percent friendly. Annoyed. Be friendly. At least I got uh, some. Okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn. Now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road. Huh? <laughs> Where's everybody else? Why Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. There's four Look, of us I here. Don't, so. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, right, so yeah. that's Nick. Junior. Trying to gather these names. We've got Nick, Caitlin, Jacob, and Dylan. Don't know who Dylan is. Is that Dylan beside us? I don't know. Dylan! We got to see who Dylan is, finally. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got that's a Dylan? Guy, okay. So. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> what were you wondering? Sorry, my brain. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? Oh, no! God. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before... Oh, Mr. If I crash the car. Uh, ew. Yeah. It's the beauty of this game is you can play it a good couple times and have completely different outcomes. Hey, Nick! Hey, where were you guys? Wouldn't you like That's that? who she fa she fancies the Australian who was a wee bit of a dick earlier. Let's go. I wouldn't have paired them together to go with. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why to keep out bears? Apparently. <clears throat> so this is everyone. Don't say why didn't you break in. That's just gonna justify hit towards Abigail. <laughs> yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I that really the don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, "Wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail?" <sighs> We're paraphrasing, yeah, but yes, back. it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. Fuck you, Emma. <laughs> Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was but Ryan's the one she podcast, fancies. Actually. I think. Oh. I'm trying to link it all. Podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? <laughs> yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? No, wait, this yeah, is Nick. I'm confused. A podcast about you. I thought Nick was the Australian. If anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. 
Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. No, sorry. This is oh Dan. God, you da- are so childish. Daniel? Look Nick is the Australian. Like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th- this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. She is so uh, mean. Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The hag. Know, what's it, where now? Dead by Dead, that guy's. It's the hag. It's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> you don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Yeah, it does sound uh, like what's I think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <gasps> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Just say the Hag. <laughs> this is just a campfire story. For They're the getting kids, hooked. So hooked and camped. Supposedly at a camp. An old woman who died in a fire a few years back. Right. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Fairy Friday the 13th. There are like reports of... It's like the first Friday the Thirteenth movie isn't even really about Jason, is it? It's about his mom. Around, you know, ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son, or kill hmm. you, or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga it's Corey. Thank you. You made that up. No, we didn't. You're in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. Is this song called Silas by any chance? It must be, right? Because she was saying Silas in people's ears. Defense of better in your support of you should have seen kids. Okay. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, I, hey I, it's I me. Got Mr. H. We're up to it. What? Those butts in gear. He's you know Mr. What, is it Chris Hackett? What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags. Right. After all this, I'm Mr. Hitch. We're really busting our butts here. <laughs> Except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. Uh, and Bruce Campbell. It's, like, it's David Arquette. The... Hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. You Don't know, drive the van, please. I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. No fair. Just be understanding. Don't be a deck. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, hmm. no big deal. You can share my earbuds. How come he got charged and no one else did? Why is he so special? Did he bring a power bank? <laughs> really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. Hmm. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. It seems like the stars have aligned for us. No. Okay. Okay. Mm, no, okay. Bestie. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. I want him to die first. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. Never mind, I want you to die too. Yeah, I'm in. You're causing more problems. You're right. You can all die. My man. (laughs) I go where my people need me. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) What do you say? (laughs) Yeah, I'm in. Of course, she says yeah. Abigail said no. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know, like um. Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Uh. Apprehensive. Be that. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. He did. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. Uh, no, 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 mm. dude, dude. He'll know. It's all good. All right, the we'll group get is you getting know, bored you, of uh, Ryan. You don't want to disappoint Daddy. 
Do you know what? Fuck these people. Fuck these people, Ryan. They don't give a shit about you. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. It's gonna be chill. Do what my spirit animal did not. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just. I this know, song was changed, she can tell. <laughs> something. Alright, let's do this! Wow. I can't stop thinking about the fact those fireworks could have blown up in her hand like the old lady said they would. And then, and then how would that have ended? Us fucking crying? Alright. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Be nice. Jesus uh, Christ. What's it no called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um... Yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful. Digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner. Fide. No, buddy. Get it? Boner. <laughs> no. Your wit knows no bounds. Fuck me. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. I, H, I know, he's cool. Okay. Always been cool to me. Hmm. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? <laughs> Got some gay uh, action So in that here. I can ask you out on a date. Uh, mm, smooth. I think if I try to cell phone number... Ryan seems thing, interested. Explode, uh, hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? weird i thought i heard someone <clears throat> maybe you should have asked them out on a date damn it i missed my shot no why is everyone need guns don't go there um no are we done phone again okay put it down please What is this? <clears throat> Kaylee and Kayla Packett. I am Three an advocate. Huh? Ad 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 forget for no guns, I correct? Like yeah, Fuck me, guns. me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. There's some story here I we're not getting i feel with these kids oh fuck mm, let's look at that in a second how long are we in uh, we're not that far. we're only in chapter two right to be honest and there, like nothing's happened as of yet hey what's the gun for don't take uh, it chris Mr. also H caitlin i don't know if you missed bears. um bears? we avoided Deer? the blow blowing yeah, up yeah, thing he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun yeah. <laughs> Emma raided that little on. safe and there were fireworks in it, but I said, no, don't take the fireworks. And so we didn't get our hand blown off. What if bears crash the party? What if we need it? To fuck off the guns. Dude, we're going to be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it, it's it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you got to... Although it was Emma, protection. so like maybe we should have <laughs> let our hands blow well, up. I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not gonna fuck a bear. Fuck me. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. 
That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Mm -hmm. Your call, man. So leave it there, please. Thank you. Only one bitch is gonna have a gun in this game, and it's gonna be Emma, and that's because she's gonna shoot herself. Anyway. Well, hello. What is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> hmm. Secret sex dungeon. Guess it goes to the basement. These guys are gay now. I've secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. Age is in his manifesting it. shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple counselors who never showed up? Uh huh. Why? That's right. Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. Mm hmm. All right. Well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness. So you're being dramatic. Climb down. Take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it. You climbed down. Oh, what do we do? For the drama, let's go down. No, I didn't mean to let like down. I meant to go down. I meant to go down. Mr. H is into. No, I I did want to know. <laughs> Sure. Oh, that's a nice chair I could get used to. Is there a way to that? I want to see the sax dungeon that's you not a sax dungeon. Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> what is with all this flirting? Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> They're gay. I'm I'm team Dylan now, I think. I was against them, but I think I think I'm all for him now. Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brendan. Laura and Max! Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Joseph Smith is gay in real life. Yeah, is he? It's because I didn't of know these this. goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. A list of the council's names, personal details, and their tasks at CAM. Two names are crossed out, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Why didn't they show up? Because they're dead. I hope not. But they might be. Alright, what's left? Can we go back in the dungeon? <gasps> we can, guys! Oh, that's a chair. No, I want to go in the sex dungeon. Put it back. Put it back. We don't need it. We s okay. Show text. Caitlin Cat, activities coordinator. Emma Mount Bank, theater coach. Laura Kearney, dead. First aid supporter, wildlife training. Dylan L L Lenevy, announcements and scheduling. Abigail Blagg, art cheater. Nicholas Fraschillo, cook, kitchen supervisor. Max Brindley, activities assistant. And Ryan Erzahler. Ceiling coach. And there's a second page, apparently. How do we go to the second page? Oh, next page. Jacob Custos, sports coach. Shares, no, share no show responsibilities among remaining counselors. Ah, okay. So we're going down the trap door. No, let me, actually let me. So every time I go here, it puts me in the chair, but I just want to go. It's going to put me in the chair again, isn't it? I knew it! Just don't put it away. <laughs> I just wanted to see the dungeon.
Do you think we'll find Laura? Do you know what? I think they're not dead because... It would be too easy to kill them off screen like that. So... That'll be talk to him. What is this? That's our phones. Can't you like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait. All right, let's let's talk. So, guys, you such a flirt. Get back home, school, or uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, He's... not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the uh, phones. I ship them. Uh, they Are you kidding? I'll use a little while longer. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. At the start, it was a joke, and now it's for real. Yo, no, wait. the gun alone, man. Sorry. Why about you make me? <laughs> okay, let's go. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. My guy. Uh, so you can he could be your guy. Around in Chris's private area. I I'm sorry. Don't. Is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy, har har. Come on, what's the thing? It's the sexual tension is too much. A little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Nothing but that. <laughs> You're using that wrong. Oh. <laughs> huh. Is this like a whole little apartment? Fashion icon. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. <clears throat> wow. There's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Fuck the trapdoor sex. Uh, Don't let me find something worse. Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the okay. kids. It like would be weird if he was. Woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like. <laughs> Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Hmm, maybe he does listen to that I podcast. I Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, mm. well, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Does he have to live there, like... All year round. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Mm. Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Brian. <laughs> it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't just kiss. It, but... It's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, it's, okay. it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. Hmm. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. <clears throat> Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Alright, what's on the TVs? Oh, there's an announcement. Is that a microphone? That is a microphone. He's a Twitch streamer, guys. Mm. 
nothing really of interest. I could have backed out at any point and I stayed watching. We would not have seen that. Okay. Little map of the place. Scrapyard. Can't really read that. Check back something. What's this? Oh. This is a letter from X? Why does he have a letter from X? Suspicious. How the fuck do I get out of here? <laughs> I didn't get out of here. I'm a bit confused. Is that... Oh, there we go. Hmm. Okay. Let's go in here. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Ibuprofen is yeah, really heavy about. today. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Okay. Anything else? Nothing else. Oh. Okay. I think we can leave. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like... He's so flirty. Or... I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're going to do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? <laughs> Let's find out if the phones are done yet. Nice. Full up. Hmm. That's... I don't think there's anything else, is there? Let's go to the party. Hey, Dunzo. Alright, cool, let's go. It's hardly, like, enough battery charge, though, like... Thank you. You know what? I kind of vibe to this music now. <laughs> it's not shit. What is, why is it so slow? Let us end the conversation, besties. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's Spin make the bottle else. and we'll Nick and... How about um, the ultimate I'm game forgetting of names. secrets and Dylan. lies, truth or dare? Nick but and Dylan. Dylan style. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like, normal truth or dare? <laughs> yes. So well, we can like, make people kiss? Yes. If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? Alright, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Wow, she's a oh, virgin. Uh, and that's how you know she's the main character. I... No, fuck. She can, she can deal with it herself. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. Alright, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um... Oh, Abby, oh my god, just pick someone. <laughs> okay, okay, um... I don't know. She's me playing this game, I'll say. Ugh, ding ding ding, too late. My turn. Emma's a bitch. Well, truth or dare? 
Damn, Nick. Nick. Or... Give me what you got. Ah, okay, Dylan. Ryan. Your dare comes niggas. with a choice. Oh. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlyn or Dylan. Wow. Is off the table. Sorry, I don't make the rules. You <laughs> we know who I'm right. gonna pick. Let's do this. Besties. Dylan, let's go. <laughs> Always happy to please. The past hour has been gearing up towards this. And it was so underwhelming. <laughs> but they're in love now, so that's canon. Look how happy Dylan is, you know? Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, but Caitlyn uh, is gonna- Caitlyn fancied him at the start, remember? Wait. So... It can be Caitlyn's turn, sure. Caitlyn, what do you say? He's, the gears are turning. True. Yeah, true. Let's see. Ever hook up with Jacob? What did you want to be when you grew up? It's truth or dare not. Fucking kids game. So did you hook up with Jacob or not? You and Jacob <laughs> go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever... Uh... Get down to business together. When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo, still love you, bud. How does she know what that's like? Okay, my turn. Wow. Emma, there. Dare to fucking shoot Emma, herself. So you have to kiss. <laughs> He can't himself in every wrong way, exactly. Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then... Um... Uh, sorry, Nick. She's gonna mother. kiss Obviously. Nick, and I she's Abigail's friend, you. guys. She's a bitch. I, kiss Nick. I knew it! What are you doing, Abigail? Seriously? I should have let the firework blow up in her hand. Guys. Are you kidding? Guys! Thank you, Nick. I'm gobsmacked. I'm I'm He's like gonna... I'm not surprised. A slapper, fucking Decker. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? Oh my god, it's just it's not your girlfriend. girlfriend. But still, the fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, the car man. was meaningless. It was all for nothing. Jacob, grow up. Ryan. Is Ryan the mummy like? I forget their names. Right. Is fine social Ryan and Dylan they kissed? Ah, was it just the nudge that Abby needed? I hope Ryan and Dylan kiss again. <laughs> Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Oh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Correct. Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So the flirting is off the charts. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Yeah. Was it what, what were you playing? Alright, Dylan. Truth it's kinda or... gay. <laughs> Dear secret. I sound like Abby. 
Oh my gosh. Albie's ruining everyone's yeah, moments here. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. I'll get you something neat. I hate her, but I respect it. <laughs> you and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think it has their son? I really hope they're gonna be okay. Guys, case. The nurse's office is gonna cut it. Just guess. Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. Laura. It's better than nothing. Put, don't put dirt on Laura's name like this. Come on. Actually, we hated Laura when we played as her earlier. <laughs> it's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? But compared to Emma, Laura is a goddess. A couple times, yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Stick together, boyfriends. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Back in, back here again. Let's go to the sex dungeon. Paranoid, hopeful. Let's be optimistic. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Hmm. Okay, then 911. <clears throat> you mean 911? Who says 911? The chemistry is off the charts. Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Call cops. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. Yes. <clears throat> And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. <laughs> They're just rolling with it. It's perfect. When you put it like that, it sounds perfect. <laughs> What's wrong? Dead. What? Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. That's you're what I'm thinking. Okay, well... He's you know, in the know or something. Know he knows shit that we what don't. what want, you think, man. I like this that you referred to it as the Rami Malik though. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Which lets me know that you are very aware of well, what happens in Until Dawn. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah. And where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, right. Dylan. Perfect. Hmm. Not aggressive, cause we're in love. I will put it back when we're good and safe, and help is on the way. Yes. No, I advocate uh, for the gun, but only okay. cause I need to protect these gays at all costs. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's 
it's probably the weather. Hmm. What weather, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the bears. Fair. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, exactly. what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. Mm. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. <clears throat> I love these two. Yeah, I'll leave that with Caitlin. <laughs> Give her your gun. I don't want to be aggressive to my boyfriend. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like, <laughs> ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, <laughs> man. Just give her the gun. Keep your boyfriend happy. Give gun. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. This light is my ass has got oh, quite geez. the bank account. <laughs> Keep it, bestie. I'm sorry, Jordy. We do have another gun, though. I think maybe Caitlin might need it, and she's a better shot. And I interrupted something. Oh my goodness, you're such a pushover for love. I, I'm a romantic at heart. What can I say? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Trust is so important in a relationship, guys. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Anytime they flirt. <laughs> They're just feeling me. They know how to get me. The developers knew it. They're like, how can we... Make Chris all giddy. We just throw in some gay flirting every now and again. Emma? Oh, Emma, don't do that. So the radio hut has like an actual radio Back to the gays. Oh, yeah, yeah. It used to be more of an <clears throat> actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio. Don't do this. Like Don't do this. And, you know, nowadays, <clears throat> everything you need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology it giveth and it taketh. Mm. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Now, why did he turn around like that when I started? No, like, uh, DJ or music, or something. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... See, they're, wanna... they're the only two in this game that are trying to get to know each other, and it's perfect. And that's why we love what? them. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Is that just the end of the conversation? Just no one talks anymore? You know? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home. And then here, I, um... You're yeah. a wise, wise... We stun him. Smartass? <laughs> yes. Uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of 
enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like you know whatever man, it's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you. Oh Dylan, my god, they're so I'm cute. Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, they've got me hooked. I hear that? Right. If I was a if I was a card, where would I be? For sure, around here somewhere. <clears throat> What was our aim here? We're going for the radio tower. I forget where that even is. I only want something to happen to see your reaction. For them to fall in love. You missed my reaction when they actually did kiss though. So hopefully they do again. Yeah. They're perfect. I just know once I finish this game, there's going to be a hashtag somewhere about these two, and it's just going to be fan art. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Right, so obviously we get to look around a wee bit here. Do you want to interact with that, bestie? At all? Huh. Hmm. Evidence. Oh. Getting evidence for the cups. Okay. Anything else? Anything around here, I feel? There we go. She can't get mad at us now. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. Love her. All good? Hmm. I don't feel like there's anything else out here, and I don't want to stay out too long. All good? Oh, we've switched for Ryan now. <clears throat> oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Why not? Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going <laughs> gotcha so uh how far does it go so dylan uh, is like um, a radio dj and PAs around camp ryan is a podcast listener know, so they're a perfect match portable radios and whatever so like dylan just has to start a podcast a mile How do you know this stuff? Dismissive, don't think I help. Do not dismiss your boyfriend, thank you. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. I well, sense the tent, like, like they're, the they're gonna the kiss here, they're gonna do something yeah, here. It's easy. Like, Come on. Climbing. I can't contain my excitement, Jordy. Anyways, this thing's gonna be a power up. Um, but that's where this comes in. That's my right. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, you can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio. So, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. 
So what should I say? Uh, just like make it sound urgent. Okay. <laughs> Hello, how's it going out there? This is uh, uh, we need help. This is uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack. Some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends He has absolutely are, no sense of urgency, so um, you're right. are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us. Uh, this is uh, an emergency yes, save our ship. Come on down, please help us. He's yeah, so disappointed. Is that swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Please. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Kiss him. <laughs> Stop. If one of these guys dies right now, mm -mm. check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to. Wait, did he? Did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. That's totally us. It is us. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 man. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> they know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Not the time, but just do it anyway. Might be the last one you ever get. Uh, Ryan? I'm so darn bad for these two. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is it a bear? Bears can jump like that. Hmm. I can't tell where they are from this. I'm not shooting until I have to. He saw it and still thinks it's bear. I know, they're so bad. What was that? What is that? Fuck me. I may never be stuck in a hot camp with you. But look, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, if I had shot, I probably would have lured what? them to us. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, I can't protect five them. people. Uh, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck no! Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, uh, get into a cabin now. Go! This is oh, tense. fuck, dude. They're gone. Hmm. Oh shit. Uh, 
<clears throat> do something, come on. Imagine everyone died right now, right here, because I'm an idiot. Mm, we gotta kill it. We gotta. We gotta kill it. It's not a normal animal, man. It's not. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Okay, you might be right. <laughs> Got a bad idea. Shit. Got a better idea? Open the door and Emma. Ah. Uh, if it's got hearing, like a. You're dog, right. Maybe. Uh, I mean, we could. We could play a really high-pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max. And I mean, it would hurt like hell, but. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. Feedback thing. Alright. Okay. Come on, Dylan. Let's do this. He is a smart one. He is. It's almost. Did they get in? Come down, buddy. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Just... There's something missing. I. What's missing? Study the creature for sense. They got in. Thank God. Oh shit! It's attacking the cabins. Oh crap! It knocked out the wire. Okay. Uh, uh fix it. I'll cover you. Buddy, I can't. No, don't do this to me. I'm gonna get five people killed. <laughs> hey, asshole! What are you? What the fuck are you doing? Are you serious? Are you? Are you kidding? Ouch. That's sweet. Thank you. He didn't lie when he said that shit hurt. <laughs> was so lied. Is it safe? Hardly. Mm, let's be nice. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. He's a smart one. He told you he likes science. You're right. He did say that. What the hell is going on up there? It we love them. Attacked us. Holy but now they're not alone that. together, so there's Dylan not going to be a kiss. A crazy loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so... <clears throat> Everyone inside. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who the fuck is this? Is that Emma? Is that Emma? Who That's not she? Emma. Should we follow her? I was like, when did Emma get an eye patch? <clears throat> oh shit, Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> New Emma who just... <laughs> New Emma just dropped. You hear any me, bitches? Who is it? Fire, 
that was not Emma. I don't. If that was Emma, I'm shocked. What the fuck? Why is that? Why are they acting like this is the end of the game? <laughs> you better find a card. I did find a card, Jody. Real good. Face hag this round. <laughs> Ryan, we're back with the gays. But where did he go? Did we kill? Like, I was too shocked by her head getting ripped off that I didn't see where he went after he did it. <laughs> Yeah, no shit, this is really bad. We just got to focus on... I think it's time to be a bit cynical. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, let's not, um... You know, let... What are we gonna do? They're never gonna kiss now, are you kidding? Too much tra trauma. And drama. Sorry. We don't even know what's out there. Do you know what? Yeah, because 30 year olds would not be like, Social media, I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna kiss your friend. 30 year olds wouldn't do that. Oh, I hope. Shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hatch? <laughs> Jody, I have my priorities and it's for the gays. It's Pride Month. Have some compassion. Who is it? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Let her Who in. Who are you? Let her in. I trust her. My name is Laura Kearney. <gasps> Guys, it's Laura! Oh, let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing People. Holy shit, you, Laura Kearney, you're Laura Kearney? Yes. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max. Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Yeah, but I don't know how she got to this point. Okay. I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. She's missing an eye. What happened to our bestie boo that we hated, but she's a glowing angel compared to Emma? Here we are. Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. God, I love Brenda. Okay, any closer one of the spray you to with cold water. I miss Stand Abby. I must say it. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. How different this would be if Abby was alive. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Probably is dead, dead. Shut up. Fine. Do She's whatever not you want. She didn't shoot. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. I know. She's not I here because be I fine. didn't shoot. That cop car you stole. Where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. <laughs> You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. No chance. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Great. Then we better get going. Laura's a... I don't... yeah. Mm. When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit. And Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't Is know it him like I do. your sexuality? Don't know him at all. Okay, okay. You should have brought Dylan. Why are you? Mm. That sounds like a long shot. Don't be mean. Oh, don't get too close to him, though. Like, don't be mean to him, but like, I can't be all like, I need you because he needs to go with. Ryan, so like we can't flirt with you. How is she not accusing a certain someone right now? 
because she's a good part because she grew up with him and they're besties does that change your opinion of him that they were besties <laughs> I'm sorry, Jordy. I have one goal in mind, and it's to get these two together. So, get my priorities gay. Okay, she can be nice, but Dylan, come on, Look, I need you. We need you. Yes. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan <clears throat> puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Work friends. So. It definitely Ryan takes. Laura, huh? Oh boy. A good one. I don't know. She thinks a mile shorter than what is. Ryan was being a jerk. Are we him? Because I'm not gonna say something bad about Ryan. You think there was something going on there? <sighs> yeah, there were definitely sparks flying there. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was angry sparks or like sexy sparks. It definitely felt like sexy sparks. Doesn't she already have a boyfriend? Yeah, but oh. Ryan's Ryan. I can walk a kilometer in 20 minutes, I think. Am I wrong Not with that? that? Matters. Now that he's off on a daring No, you're right. It's a mile. Miss Mysterious. How do you compete with that? Kind of got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? Oh, it's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. He got a crush on Ryan. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident. And heroic. With an eye patch. It's you, 100%, it's you fucker. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> oh my goodness. There. In fact, they're talking about next year. <laughs> they're not making it through the night. <laughs> oh shit! Relax. It's motion sensor. We're okay. I don't like for that situation. I wouldn't oh, come back. Like. <laughs> Ew! Come on, this way. Do you know what I'm curious about though? If the full moon happens, you know, once a month, and the camp was ongoing for two months, that means there's at least one full moon in those two months, right? What did all the kids do during that full moon? They just all stay inside and not get ripped to shreds? So are we doing this or no? Yeah. He's gonna die. This way I get my gay lovers. Possibly. If I don't fuck it up. Okay. <sighs> nice and tender for you. Mm. Like, how deep does this bite need to be? I, as a human, couldn't couldn't bite into someone. Girl. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Flebotomy. Flebotomy. <laughs> got it. To be fair, if she was suggesting it, and she's the only one here that would be medically trained to even do anything about it in a different sense, and she didn't even suggest that, so it probably was the only way. You do your business, girl boss. If I had to guess, to further the plot along in a slightly faster manner, I feel like what we need is... It might 
They can live together as werewolves, you know? That's kind of cute. Problem. Oh, fuck sticks. I mean, I'm fuck sticks. Hmm. Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. Hmm. Go for Abby and Nick. Well. But you know what? I didn't know then that the bullets wouldn't have done much. So I didn't realize if I had a shot in Nick. Nick would have still lived. But Abby would have been an asshole to everyone else. Because they'd been like, what the fuck, you shot Nick? And then they'd be like, well, he would have torn my fucking head off. So it was that or nothing. <clears throat> what is this? A big button. But he makes a lot of noise. Documentary. <laughs> no, shut up. Come on, let's go. I, uh, I, you know, if I went through something like this, I would want to be in the documentary. Where are we going? Where's she going? Where are you going? Let's see. Get right here. Hmm. It's a building in front of us. Building was a bit generous. Ah! Sorry, that was <laughs> scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yes. You both are bad. All the lights are scaring the shit out of me. Clearly, we're going upstairs. more stairs. Fuck me. Is there an AIDS? There's so many stairs. I just trust stairs. They're like a signpost, you know? Oh. Look. No, I... I don't think that's a good idea. So, you ever operated a crane before? Don't. I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Uh oh I hear that. Mm. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Oh. Uh... Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Queen brand, I don't know who it is. <laughs> if, if Dylan dies here, I'm holding you right. personally responsible, it's very. Looks like somebody's mom. Never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. <laughs> I'm glad I kept him alive. Okay. Our lovers live to see another few minutes. <laughs> I was gonna say another day, but they won't make it. 
Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie <laughs> about how brave I am. Don't push it. <sighs> So, Dylan's my favorite, I think. So much for our between Dylan and Laura. Brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? Better than being out in the open. Come on. <sighs> Work it, girl. What a girl boss. Max was the true girl boss of this game. <laughs> I think if we had fucked up a minute ago and not killed Chris, we would not be able to play Max right now. And Max would just have never been played the whole game. It's one of those things where I don't have the foresight to know. Like, what if something happens while we're in the water and we're fucked? Or, what if I stay here and I'm fucked? Or, what if I do something with the other characters later and we really need his help but he's here and we're fucked? I think we'll swim. Um, I didn't consider hypothermia. This better have a great fucking ending. I assume it'll be very climactic. A hundred and eighty six endings. And which one will we get? What if you betray a nice bit so you didn't screw over it? I'm gonna cry. Are you killing me? I want to get mugs. All I did, I didn't even get a chance to prevent that. I should have stayed. <laughs> I wanted Max alive. There are like four people in this game. I want end game. And it was Max, Laura, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> How many freaking people are there? And it, well, everyone before Chris. So that could be Caleb that just bit us. Caleb and Silas, but there could be more. Fuck you! I got you, motherfucker. It wouldn't be Max. I think Max is dead. Alright. Shit. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. No. Look at him. Laura! Do it. He's just a boy! He's responsible for so much death. Says you! Do it! No! Give me the gun. No, she's fine. Jordy, you tapped into my... Fuck this. Jordy, I'm never listening to you again. <laughs> you got into my head. I was like, 
you, I think you're onto something about this guy. So I shot him dead. And you know what? Now Laura's dead. And you know who else is probably about to die? Ryan. I shot... <laughs> I shot Officer Hatchet. <laughs> and now Laura is dead. <laughs> This game is not going to end well because my faves are dying left, right, and center. <sighs> and Jordy's okay with it, do you know why? Because there's only one person in this game Jordy cares that lives and it's Brenda Song. <laughs> Now what? How does this game end? <laughs> Thought you were clever, didn't you? I knew my boy would be okay. With me watching over him, I'll never forget what you tried to do. What I tried to do, Bessie? I've been with you all night, you know. And I'm not about to stop just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now, I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. I know once you finish this game, once you get three death rewinds, once you finish the game and then you do your next playthrough, you can play it and you get three rewinds of the whole game where if someone dies, you can reverse it. This is the end, isn't it? This is the end of the game. Okay, well... <laughs> the pressure was on. This is too cheery. <laughs> Mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Massacred by his werewolf son. There's Chris. Killed when his favorite counselor Ryan shot him with silver. <laughs> yeah. All these people Laura killed because she thought they were Chris. It was Caleb. It was Caleb. She's the one I wanted dead. She got to live, but your boyfriend said. Hi there. <laughs> Hi, if you like to oh fuck me. <laughs> Hi, if you liked what you watched, why not consider subscribing to the channel for more clips? But 
if you also would like to participate in the gameplay and influence my decisions and how I play the games and also to have a nice conversation because I love a nice conversation why not follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Chris Thank you. <laughs>